Hey guys, welcome to the Paintball Madhouse. I'm Madness, and uh, in this video, I want to talk about a modification that I made to my uh, die dam, and that modification being a uh, magazine uh, release button extension, uh, as you can see there. Um, and the reason why I added this was because, you know, my I kind of got short fingers, so I need a wide prefer something better you know something a little extended because I actually have this on my T15 and this this button here has been great um, especially you know releasing the mag like I said with my short fingers I'm able to just come off the trigger and just release the button so I kind of wanted to add that to the to my die dam because as you can see from the box mag it helps releasing the button, especially here. I'll show you on the. I have an extra magwell here. And with the magwells, you can see the button is kind of in there. So when that's on the gun, I'll actually show you better. I took the screws off of this magwell, so it'll be a little bit easier to switch out. Slide this back in there so that you see, just be careful. Just kind of goes over the eyes. So, when you add this in there, as you can see, the button is so you can see it there. The button is in there a little bit, okay, to release it. So, not a big deal, I guess, really. Um, but, like I said, I just prefer something to be a little easier for me. Um, to switch out to, to release the mags, be able to release the mags a little faster um, instead of kind of having to reach as you can see my finger go right there and release um, as opposed to having to move slide my finger forward. Okay, as you can see, it releases pretty quickly. Turn, pops right up. Okay, so I'm gonna go over exactly. I did it. Uh, now this this is a customized gun. It says uh, customized uh, release extension, uh, mag release extension, guys. This one, I don't know if you can see it there. It says final notice on it. It's kind of got like the, um, the Grim Reaper. And uh, I'll post a link before where you can get these. These are, I believe it's tactical gear uh, junkies. I'll post a link below, guys, in case anybody's interested. And these are for AR-15 parts, um, so that's why I was able to put that right on my um, my T-15, no problem. So, show you how I did it, because this, the, the T-15, you can just switch out the parts. This is actually um, the button that was originally on the T-15, and I just swapped it out, no problem, because that's, uh, that's the proper size for it. But with the die dam, you gotta modify it. Now, what I did was, and I'll show you, uh, as soon as I get this off. Now guys, if you go on the website, if you're interested, there's, they have many different designs um, for that, and they can also customize one. So if you have your own emblem or your own sign, you can reach out to them, and they'll be able to um, uh, laser print that right on the uh, release button. Um, so guys, this is basically the magwell, and I got an extra pieces here so you, I can kind of show you. When you take the magwell off of the gun, okay, the screw there, you just release it, that comes out, that's this button right here, as you can see, it's the same one. Um, and then this piece comes out here. Now in here, guys, there's a spring, you really don't have to take this whole thing apart. You just have to take this top screw out, and this piece will, will, will pop right out. Um, but be careful in case you, for whatever reason, you want to take everything out, guys. Hold your finger here and then take out the two screws. Keep pressure on this finger because there is a spring in there. That spring um, pushes on the lock, um, which sits here. So hold that because if you kind of release that without holding this down, the spring is just going to pop, you know, pop right on you, chasing the spring. Uh, so anyway, so basically what I did, guys, this is the size of um, the piece that comes in. As you can see the difference, this would just be where the screw goes in. 
and this one being the same one except that it has two screws ab above and below uh, where the, the screw to hold this in goes and that's to hold in the plate. So what I had to do guys was I took, I have a Dremel and I basically what I did was I sized up the two pieces. I drew a line around exactly and I clamped this down again. This is a small piece guys so you gotta just be careful how you do it. Clamp it down and with the Dremel I took the uh, the metal cutting wheel and I cut straight down. And I'll show you what that came out to look like. I released this one. Now, the mis not the mistake that I did, but when I cut it, guys, I cut it to the exact size of this one. You can do that, but what I have, what I did was after I cut it, I kind of grinded this down and smoothed it out. So once I did that, I obviously came a little smaller. Than this one and that can be a problem because what I had to do was if you if this is a smaller piece when you go to release the mag guys the this back button goes down too much and it'll get caught so you don't want that you want to be able to cut it you know either cut it exactly like that and leave it or cut it a little longer and then you want to grind it down just to give it some smoothness so it's not sharp being that it's metal getting cut um, you can do that um, but just bear that in mind. So because when I grinded it, it came out a little smaller, it started getting stuck on me. So what I had to do was I cut a thin O-ring, or if you can see it in there, I cut a thin, thin O-ring and I put it in there um, just to keep this back button from going all the way down. And if you notice, guys, on the back of the actual one, you may not be able to see it here, but I kind of had to score it a little bit just to kind of give it this groove. So you can see that kind of give it this groove because this you know this part here sits in okay kind of holds that in down in a place like that locks it in so I don't know if you can even see this one's a little beat up in there but basically I had to score it this way and um, so that 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 group so that the group you know you can create the groove and it sits in there so like I said, if you're going to do this, guys, try to cut this a little bigger if you're going to smooth this out. Um, afterwards, again, I did this all with the Dremel cutting wheel. So, so a sanding wheel where you could sand this out. Or if you cut it exact size, leave it if it's not a big deal. Um, so, that was it, guys. It's, it's fairly simple. Like I said, this is a small piece, so you got to make sure that you clamp it properly. That way you can get a, a cut straight down. Um, and like I said, just grew with the same cutting wheel, just kind of notch out the back a little bit, um, to give it that line. That's it. I mean, it's fairly simple. Just put it together. Now, the screw, guys, that goes, that holds this down, this screw, if you can see it from there, it's kind of got like a rounded head. I'll take it out. Um... That caused me a bit of an issue. I had to go out to Home Depot and get a screw with a flathead on it because, as you can see, you know, plate is flat. It has to sit flat on the screw. And the screw coming that comes with the button, you have to use this same size screw, guys, because, um, again, this isn't like the T15, which is a one-to-one -one replica to the AR. So you have to kind of get, and this is a small screw, so you have to go out and buy another screw. So you can see this has got a round head on it. So if you put that in there, so no, drop that screw in there. It's not gonna be good enough. Okay, the head is gonna be round. You can see it from there. And the plate won't sit right. So, again, went out to Home Depot. This size is a number four. This is a number four dash 40 half inch. I didn't find anything smaller than that, guys. So what I did was I kind of cut this one down a little. As you can see these are a little longer. So I kind of cut this down. It's not the exact same. It's a little longer than, than what the original screw comes in. You can see that there. Um, so again, you want to get out, you want to get something with a flatter head fit right in and then just screw it down just 
just till it's snug. You don't want to kill it, just so that it's snug. Okay. I always recommend just test it out. Okay. Releases and this releases from both sides. Okay. And that's it. And the plate goes right back on over it. You can take one out just to make it easier. I'd be very careful when I'm cutting all this stuff out, guys. Um, really hard time going back in. Because it's very easy. Again, you're dealing with small parts here. Fairly easy to damage. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep ordering parts and parts just to do this. So you kind of want to do this in the... Um, in one shot. Um, and these these uh, mag release extensions, guys, on the website, they vary. I think they're around 18 to 20 bucks, depending on the one you get. Like I said, you can customize, put your own custom name or emblem if you have one on it. You just shoot them an email. Uh, when you're going to place the order, you know, you buy one that says customizable on it. Um, they come in black, blue, and red. Um, the blue and red don't have a design on them. Um, you, you would have to customize those or just get it in the blue and red. Um, other than that, they got many different ones. So like I said, this one says final notice. And if you look at my T15, I got the, um, the Spartan uh, emblem. So... That's it, guys. I mean, it's, it's fairly simple. Again, I like it. I I have short fingers, so it's a lot easier for me to reach in, especially when I got the box mag, guys, because I kind of, um, you know, want to be able to switch out, you know, quick, uh, easy. And like I said, if you're switching out mags, if you're going on full mag fed, guys, you want to be able to, qu you know, quickly um, draw the mag, especially these die dam mags because you have to turn them. You know, um, it's not like the T15 mag where you shoot your 20 shots and then you just swap, swap on max. So, um, you know, you need this more often. This helps. So I can just take my, you see my finger on the trigger, I can just take it off and I can release the mag. I don't have to kind of like slide my, my hand forward off the grip. I can just basically come in, reach, shoot, reach, drop the mag. All right, and that's it, guys. That's um, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, again, fairly simple. Just watch how you 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 cut it. Um, again, I use the Dremel. Um, you know, Dremel has a lot of tools. They have different um, uh, different attachments to it. Um, I use the cutting wheel along with the sanding stones uh, to sand the bottom um, when you cut it. And um, again, that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.